ask about the body mapping, because mm -hmm. I know that's something you also do mm -hmm. in your practice. And you have mm -hmm. some really beautiful images of um, people painting and doing these amazing, you know, drawings and images. You know, what, what is body mapping and how does that work? Body mapping is a process in which we use a life-size canvas and working with movement, meditation, memories, art, they, they basically draw on a life-size version of their own body on, on this canvas. But it's storytelling. It's, it's the storytelling of their own body um, and the stories that are in there, um, whether they're scars, wounds, um, history there um, with the body. I mean, I, I tend to work a lot with, I've, I've worked a lot with women and also going through transitional phases in life. And there's grief there as well you know uh take for instance a postnatal mum who has is coming to terms with her new self um and sometimes in the newness of becoming a mum there is a grieving of her self um her individuality and sometimes those stories need to be consolidated and and brought together um so that's what body mapping kind of helps do it's it's a lovely process um again it relates to you know, as I said earlier, uh, we, we live in the space of our bodies experience our life. So it gives a chance for a person to kind of have that conversation, you know, and see their own stories with their body and also um, get feedback, um, you know, and, from and be the listened artwork. to. Yeah, yeah. Be listened to and see. No, that, that it, it takes us into that realm, which is really important for grief mm. and other things of meaning making. You know, yeah. that we that we live in the present, but we see the present, we think of the present, we frame it through mm. the memories of what's happened mm. and the way we imagine the future. We're sort of storytelling mm -hmm. beings. Yeah. And when something really changes that's radical, we lose that story that we had of who we are and what our mm. life is. Mm. So I can see how this is one way of finding a new story that yeah. takes into account the changes. Yeah. And also we don't, we store the stories. That's what I would say in terms of body mapping, the, the stories are stored inside of us. We pack them away. We move away from them sometimes because we're too afraid to go back to them. Um, and, and so sometimes when we do take that time to go back to those stories, they've changed. You know, the way we've seen them, the way they've sat in us, the way what what they meant to us five years ago and what we know now about those stories. And sometimes and so a body map can also be a snapshot, like a photograph as well of who you are right now. Mm. You know, and you can and it gives you a chance to see and and, and the art itself gives you a, a really beautiful opportunity to reauthor it as well. You know, be gentle with it. Um, create, recreate it into how it might feel for you um, in a way that um, you can only have that conversation with your own body. Yeah. And I can imagine that different people experience their grief in different parts of their body and that that tells a kind of story. And we know that, that women who've had stillbirth babies, for example, have the empty arm sensation yeah. where their arms ache for the baby they, you know, wish they were holding and imagine and should be holding. Yeah. And that tells its own story. But other people feel grief in their throat, yeah. you know, or their stomach. Mm. And, and in a way where you hold the grief mm. probably says a lot about, you know, how you've experienced it and what yeah. the kind of issues and that are kind of, you know, how that's the kind of emotional content of what's happening to you. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, I mean, I think that's spot on. Um, and I think for you mentioned, um, you know, you made me think about miscarriage um, yeah. as well. And sometimes for women, especially in the early stages of um, miscarriage, out externally, sometimes people don't necessarily understand what that person went through because there was not maybe a physical enough um, for the rest of the world to comprehend what she felt. But, you know, and I've worked with some women who have been able to express that in, in body mapping. And, you know, 
that that's still there you know the story is still there um it's it's something that's carried and the experience of loss on on that level it it sometimes it, it stays a long time without being fully expressed um often and like where you talked about placing it in different parts of the body you know there is a you know the the womb 